Hello, welcome to the new video about the most innovative solution of CTE of this year, the new S3 Evolution or EVO. Follow me. At CTE, we think that innovation requires bravery and craziness. And this time we were listening to our customer and we designed not only new machine, but a completely new interface. This is the new CTE EVO. And this is the first unit that will receive following up than all the other platform. The CTE EVO introduced new features new capabilities and a completely new experience for the customer to make the machine more reliable, safer and easy to use. The new S3 EVO introduced a lot of new features and human interface to make life of the operator easier, safer and more efficient. We redesigned completely the layout of our EVO putting all the controls and all the commands in one simple interface. The commands for the maneuvers are now much easier to use where you just press the maneuver that you want to do and go up or go down, rotate left or rotate right. The emergency stop is right here, easy to select and to use. We remove one selector, so now you don't have to select from upper structure to lower structure anymore, but the machine knows automatically if it's stabilized or not and allows to stabilize or only to go with the upper structure and the maneuvers. And the only thing you have to select is if you want to use the ground console or the basket control. We also change completely the interface for our computer and now the connector is on the front and it's easy to connect with an M12 standard connection. We have all LED lights that provide information if the machine is on, if the basket or the tune table are centered, if there is a, a problem or an emergency, or if the stabilization is good to go. Plus, we add also at the ground station the home and work function so the home function is available to the operator just pressing the red button we then have our standard display with all the information for diagnostic of every sensor and every micro switch present on the machine we have the menu to scroll through um, the different menus and also the display can be used for calibration for service mode we also have two functional buttons that will be able to be customized depending on the function that can be created for you, for your custom needs by our uh, special division at CT. And when available, the auto stabilization of the machine will be available just pressing this switch. We also have the start and stop button for the engine and the possibility of bypassing the anti-collision, so the anti-crash, when the operator wants to go in position that are not so easy to reach. We also have the override system as required by the new standards, where in case of an operator that is incapacitated and has pressed the emergency stop, can override the emergency stop at the basket so the operator can be quickly retrieved. Before talking about also the basket control, I want to talk to you a little bit about some new features of this new Z23.3 and some improvement that we will carry on also on future platform. So to do that, I will start the engine and stabilize the machine. It's very simple now. We can simply select the ground control, start the engine, extract the outriggers, Stabilize the machine. And when the machine is level, the green light says stabilization okay. 
So now we can move to the upper structure. You, we don't have to change from ground console to aerials maneuver. We just have to, to select the basket. On all the future platform, we also redesigned the basket. The basket now has three different entrances that can be adjusted depending on your needs. So we have the normal entrance in case the basket is rotating 90 degrees, or we can have this frontal entrance, or we can have a back entrance. So one basket will fit all the different platforms. We also redesigned the ladder to make it stronger and more efficient. So let's go up now to the upper controls. So let's introduce to you the new uh, basket control of the S3 EVO. The new basket control has a completely new layout, has a graphic display that shows real-time height, real-time outreach, real-time weight in the basket, percentile of available workload, time and date, and the voltage of the battery. The same information, the same switchy with already so in the ground console, so up and down in the menu, the menu bottom, the enter bottom. If the auto stabilization is available, the switch to open and close the outriggers, the automatic stabilization to close the platform, the bypass of the collision, start and stop of the engine, the home function that works just pressing the button and you don't have to do anything else, the machine will do everything by itself, the emergency stop, the function button that allows you in the future to have customized function, and the joysticks. The joysticks are divided in two groups, three maneuvers on the right, three maneuvers on the left, and thanks to the system with two proportional valve, you can do any proportional maneuver of the right group together with any proportional maneuver of the left group. So you can work essentially with two hands to increase your efficiency. But the most important feature and the most innovative solution that we introduce on the S3 Smart Stability System EVO is that you can know every time in real time which maneuver you can do and which maneuver you cannot do in this case for example as we are still close at the boom rest the system tell us that we can lift the main boom or lower the main boom we can lift the sigma boom or we can lower the sigma boom and then depending on the position the lights will switch on or switch off depending on the maximum outreach or the collision that we are going to have so you don't have to think anymore you don't have to understand anymore why the machine is not moving or what you can do and you cannot do to exit from a particular situation you have just to watch the light and we think this is one of the most innovative solutions that are available today on the market of aerial platforms. What I'm going to show you now from the platform is how the system works, how the different LED switch on and switch off depending on your position that could be limited by an anti-collision situation or from a maximum outreach situation. Previously, the operator had to know the machine as to understand why the machine was not moving anymore. Now, every single maneuver has an LED that is either off or green or red, depending if the maneuver is allowed or not. We choose green or red because they are the most visible color to the eye. It doesn't mean that the machine is not allowed. The machine will not be allowed only if the LED is off. When the LED of the maneuver is on, it will be green, for example, on the Z, and all will be red on a different machine. So let's go into the basket and see how it works. Now, let's go for a ride to maximum performance to also see how this Z23 is performing in normal condition. If I press the home function or work function, 
the platform will automatically open to a 20 degree position of the Sigma Razor. So it's very easy to open the machine. Now we can just watch the light and see that we have some maneuvers that are allowed and some maneuvers that are not allowed. So let's keep moving. I'm doing now two maneuvers at the same time, full proportional, so I can really slow down one maneuver if I want, or okay, I can speed up the other one. Now let's raise the Sigma boom, and at the same time, let's open the jib. Now I can rotate back a little bit while I'm raising the Sigma Razor. And now I can lift the boom a little bit while I'm still raising the Sigma Razor. So two movement at the same time. Very intuitive, very proportional, very smooth. almost at foot height with the Sigma Razor. Very nice and smooth. I can now go back, for example, with the on function, but because I'm over a cup, over a top, will be better to get out by myself a little bit because the machine doesn't know where I am. So I'm just going back. to a standard position. I rotate the basket back to allow the home function. And now I simply press the home function and enjoy the ride back home. So first thing, we close the Sigma Razor to 20 degrees and I'm just pressing the red button. And just checking the surrounding to make sure there is nothing on my way. And the machine will do everything by itself. So here we are, just keeping press the red button, the home function, the home function is blinking. And the machine will close automatically. So first the Sigma Razor. Now we retract the jib. Then we will retract the telescope. Then we will lower the telescope. And then we will close back to the home position. The machine is incredibly smooth. The fact that we can use two maneuvers at the same time, very proportional, allow us to go pretty close to every obstacle without the fear of eating anything and the maneuver are well disposed so that the angular maneuvers can be done together with the linear maneuver so we can extend and rotate or we can extend and move up and down so we can go with the vertical surfaces with the horizontal surfaces uh, we can move the jib together with the telescope we can move the jib together with the sigma razor here we go back to zero perfectly center and we have just to wait and enjoy the ride back home after a long day of work. And here we are, back home. So the new S3 EVO will be available on all the models that right now has the S3. So the Z23, the Z21, the B-Leaf 27, the Z25, the B-Leaf 23, the B-Leaf 18. The new features, amazing features, very easy to use, more efficiency, more speed, more safety. So safer, quicker and efficient. A new human interface, that makes everything easy to understand. A graphic display that provides you a lot of information. Customize options depending on your needs and your demands. Even new function that can be developed right for you. So S3 Evo work become easy.